welcome everyone today in this video we are going to talk about a very famous national level exam iit jam so jam stands for joint admission test for msc this jam exam is conducted by iits and isc so every year uh, in the month of february what will you get after qualifying this jam exam so jam basically provides admission to uh, msc for two years in iits and isc joint msc phd programs msc phd dual degree and other bachelor degree programs at iits and integrated pro phd at isc remember one thing that uh, that there is only one isc isc bangalore okay so don't get confused that uh, uh, there are several isc only one isc is there now what are the eligibility requirements for appearing into this examination so first of all you have to have 55 percent marks in the qualifying exam that means in bsc level uh, for general obc and ews category students and those who are from sc st and pwd category person with disability they need only 50 percent marks in their qualifying exam in bsc now let's talk about the exam pattern of this particular exam so basically the question paper consists of 100 marks question and 60 questions are there in that question set okay now the question paper is divided into three sections section a section b and section c section a comprises of questions uh, 30 questions from uh, for the first 10 question question number 1 to question number 10 that those will be of one marks and question number 11 to 30 those will be of two marks each and one third marks will be for uh, will be given for a wrong answer and the nature of this questions from section a will be of mcq type multiple choice question means you will be given four options and only one options will be correct in section a for section b there will be uh, 10 questions question number 31 to question number 40 and all of the questions will be of two marks and the nature of this of these questions will be multiple select questions no, and no negative marking will be there no partial marking will be there what does it mean that in this section if you answer uh, it incorrectly then you will not be given any negative mark or suppose there are four options and three options uh, among them are correct and if you mark two options then you will not be given any marks any partial marking you will be given zero marks and you will not be given any negative mark okay so here more than one options uh, may be correct multiple select questions in section 3 there are uh, 41 to 50 10 questions of one mark and 51 to 60 10 questions of two marks and there will no there will be no negative marking in this section also and the nature of this section will be numerical answer type questions means you have you will be uh, you will be required to answer the you have you will be required to write the answers in numerical okay so they will be they, they will give you instruction after how many decimal you have to retain the answer okay so i hope you have understood the nature of the question paper of this particular exam now let's talk about the syllabus and recommended books for this particular exam from physics now before getting started with the syllabus and the recommended books i would like to request you to follow our facebook page and instagram page as well so first let's get started with mathematical methods so what are the things which are there in mathematical physics section so first of all calculus of single and multiple variables partial derivatives jacobian imperfect and perfect differentials taylor expansion Fourier series vector algebra and vector calculus multiple integrants divergence theorem green's theorem stokes theorem first order equation and linear second order differential equation with constant coefficient matrices determinants algebra of complex numbers so you can see these topics are very important not for iit jam aspirants but for all, but also for tifr or brc or csr net aspirant it is also beneficial for the job aspirants also because in several exams for psc or ssc or something like that questions from these topics also come so uh, you should be well equipped with these topics so what are the recommended books from myself so first of all i would like to recommend a, a book of mathematical physics by H.K. Das, then Erwin Kesig, Advanced Engineering Mathematics. These two books are 
sufficient for this for the IITs and aspirants. So you can buy both of them. Uh, although the PDF of Erwin K S G is available online on Google, you, you can search and you will get, uh, definitely get it. it. Is easily available. Other two books which I would like to recommend for the vector parts, you can see vector analysis by Spiegel, and another good books. Uh, uh, which is written in a very simple language is Higher Engineering Mathematics by B.S. Garwal. So these four books are necessary for IIT exam students. So I would first recommend you to buy H.K. Das that will cover almost everything. Then you can go for Erwin KSG and uh, then B.S. Garwal and Vector Analysis. Okay. So now let's talk about mechanics and general properties of matter, the second section of IIT exam physics syllabus. So what are the things which are there in the syllabus? So you can see in the slide Newton's laws of motion application, velocity and acceleration, Cartesian polar, cylindrical coordinate systems, uniformly rotating frames, centrifugal and Coriolis forces, motion under the central force, Kepler's law, gravitational law and field, conservative and non-conservative forces, system of particles, center of mass, equation of motion of the uh, center of mass, conservation of linear and angular momentum, conservation of energy, conservation of uh, sorry variable mass system, elastic and ila inelastic collisions, rigid body motion, fixed axis rotation, rotation translations, moment of inertia, product of inertia, parallel and perpendicular axis theorem, principal moment of principal moments and axis, kinematics of moving fluids, equation of continuity, Euler equation, Bernoulli's theorem. So these many things are there in classical uh, sorry mechanics and general properties of matter section. I will provide these slides on our Facebook page. Okay, so please do follow our Facebook page, and you can download those these slides of syllabus and recommended books from our Facebook page. And what are the recommended books for this uh, section? So first of all, I would like to recommend a treatise on general properties of matter by Chatterjee and Sen Gupta. So this book is a very good book. It's like this much thick and many, many topics has been covered here. And secondly, classical mechanics uh, by Gupta Kumar Sharma. Thirdly, an introduction to mechanics by Daniel Klepner and Robert Kolenkov. Uh, and the finally concept of physics by our legend H. Varma, who has been awarded Padma Sri recently. So these four books are very necessary for you to prepare for this section. Third section oscillation waves and optics. So what are the things which are there in this particular section? So first of all differential equations for simple harmonic oscillator and, and its general solution. Superposition of two and more harmonic oscillators, Lissajous figures, damped and force oscillations, resonance, wave equation, traveling and standing waves in one dimension, energy density and energy transmission in waves, group velocity, phase velocity, sound waves in media, Doppler effect, Fermat's principle, general theory of image formation, thick lens lenses, thin lenses, lens combination, interference of light, optical path retardation, front of a diffraction, relic criteria and resolving power, diffraction gratings, polarization, linear, circular and elliptical polarization, double diffraction and optical rotation. Now what are the books which are recommended to prepare for this section? Those are first of all for the waves and oscillation parts you can see in a book by N.K. Bajaj. It's a very famous book. I know most of you are aware of this particular book. Secondly, Optics by Ajay Ghatak. So Ajay Ghatak is a alumina from IIT Delhi. He has been retired, but uh, very often he visits IIT. So it's a very good book by Ajay Ghatak, sir. Thirdly, Modern Optics by A.B. Gupta. This book, Modern Optics by A.B. Gupta, has been written in a very simple language. Uh, so this book is will be very helpful to the IIT jam aspirants because IIT jam aspirants are not so much developed in concept of physics because uh, they have just passed class 12 and have been appearing into BSc physics. So this book uh, by A.B. Gupta will be very really helpful for them and once they get to know about the things they can go for optics by Ajay Ghatak sir. So and the last book which is also very good book and easy book is a textbook on light by Ghosh Majumdar. So you can uh, see these four books for this particular section waves and oscillations and optics. The next section which is there in your syllabus is electricity and magnetism. So what are the things uh, which are there in this section? 
those are Coulomb's law, Gauss's law, electric field and potential, electrostatic boundary conditions, solutions of Laplace equation for simple cases, conductors, capacitors, dielectrics and dielectric polarization, volume and surface charge, electrostatic energy, bias over law, Ampere's law, Faraday's law of electromagnetic induction, self and mutual induction, alternating currents, simple DC AC circuits with R, L and C components, displacement current, Maxwell's equation and plan, plane electromagnetic waves, Pointing theorem, uh, reflection and refraction at a dielectric interface, transmission and reflection coefficients, normal incidence only. Okay, so you have to deal with the normal incidence only. Oblique incidence are not there in your syllabus. Lorentz force and motion of charged particles in electric and magnetic fields. So, for this section, you know, <laughs> if I say only one book is enough, then that will be uh, the book Introduction to Electrodynamics by David J. Griffiths. Okay, so although this book has been written by a foreign writer, but this is the best book for electrodynamic section. So you should buy this book, particular book. It is helpful not only for IIT exam but also for JEST, TFR, NET, GATE exams also. Secondly, you can buy a very uh, good book which is written in a very simple language, Fundamental of Electricity and Magnetism by Basudev Ghosh or B Ghosh. Thirdly, Electricity and Magnetism by D. Chattopadhyay, P. C. Rakshit. And fourthly, this is a little tough book or this book is recommended for MSA students, Classical Electrodynamics by John David Jackson. So once you finish these books uh, by Griffiths, then Bigos and, and Rakshis Chattopadha, you can go for this uh, book by John David Jackson. This is also a very good book, but you need to have some uh, background knowledge on electrodynamics to understand this book. Okay. Uh, next, kinetic theory and thermodynamics. So, what are the things which are there in the syllabus of IDJ? Elements of kinetic theory of gases, velocity distribution and equipartition of energy, specific, specific heat of mono, di and triatomic gases, ideal gas, bundle gas and equation of state, mean free path, laws of thermodynamics, zeroth law and concept of thermal equilibrium, fast law and its consequences, isothermal and derivative processes, reversible, irreversible and quasi-static process, second uh, law and entropy, Kandor cycle, Maxwell's thermodynamic relations and simple application, thermodynamic potentials and their application applications, phase transitions and clauses, clipper and equations, idea of ensembles, maxwell Boltzmann, fermi dirac and Bose-Einstein distribution. Now I would like to recommend four books for this thermodynamics and statistical uh, physics section, kinetic theory and thermodynamics section. So first of all, I would like to recommend a very good book and simple book, Thermal Physics by Gupta and Roy. Secondly, Thermal Physics by S.C. Garg, R.M. Banshal, C.K. Ghosh. Thirdly, Statistical Mechanics by R.K. Pastry and Paul de Bell. And fourthly, Hidden Thermodynamics by Dietman and Jemansky. The last book is basically to build up your concept. The For the numerical part, the last book is not recommended. This book is very useful for building or developing concepts. Okay, so you can refer to these four books for the preparation of this particular section. Next part is Modern Physics. Now, Modern physics, what are the things which are there in modern physics section? Inertial frames and Galilean invariance, postulates of special relativity, Lorentz transformation, length contraction, time dilation, relativistic velocity addition theorem, mass energy equivalence, black body radiation, photoelectric effect, Compton effect, Bohr's atomic model, X rays, wave particle duality uncertainty principle, the superposition principle, calculation of expectation values, Schrodinger equation, and its solution for one, two, and three dimensional boxes. Solution of Schrodinger equation for the one dimensional harmonic oscillator, reflection and transmission at a step potential, Pauli excursion principle, structure of atomic nucleus, mass and binding energy, radioactivity and its application, laws of radioactivity. Now, in modern physics, several topics of physics have been embedded together. So, first of all, this classical uh, parts the special theory of relativity and almost for all the parts of modern physics one book is must buy what is that can you guess yeah it's concept of modern physics by arthur bejer this book is very good book and it covers everything like quantum mechanics nuclear physics atomic and molecular physics everything is there so you must purchase this book by arthur bejer Secondly, this modern atomic and nuclear physics by A.B. Gupta. This 
although uh, <coughs> from the title it is not revealed that the particle physics section is also there but this particle physics section is also there in this book by avi gupta so you can blindly buy these two books you should definitely buy these two books thirdly quantum mechanics by jiarul das this book is also a must buy for uh, every physics students uh, every indian physics students or outsider also okay because these books are written in a very simple language and it is easy to understand and for the nuclear physics part you can refer to this book nuclear physics by dr s n goshal although the second book atomic and nuclear physics by ab gupta will cover the nuclear physics portion although if you have um, additional interest in nuclear physics i would like to recommend nuclear physics by s n goshal so you can go for go for that book the last section of this iridium physics exam is solid state physics and devices and electronics so <coughs> let's look at the syllabus crystal structure bravelatis and basis 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 miller indices x ray refraction and bragg's law intrinsic and extrinsic semiconductors variation of resistivity with temperature fermi level pn junction diode iv characteristic jenner diode and its application bjt characteristics in cbc cc mode common base common emitter common collector modes single stage amplifier two stage rc coupled amplifier simple oscillation oscillators back house and condition sinusoidal oscillators op amp and application inverting and non inverting amplifier boolean algebra binary number system conversion from one system to another system binary addition and subtraction logic gates and or not nand nor exclusive or truth tables combination of gates de morgan's theorem these many things are there in this section solid state physics devices and electronics <coughs> so basically they have embedded uh, solid state physics electronics in one thing okay so for the solid state part you can buy this book by solid state physics by m wahab and solid state physics by sop lai sop lai book and this m wahab those two books are written in a very simple language so you can buy both of them or at least you can you should buy one of them so both of the books are very really very helpful and very good books and for the electronics for electronic devices and circuit theory you can buy boyle stage book and this boyle stage book is also available online so you can download the pdf uh if you don't want to buy it you can use its pdf and the book fundamental principle of electronics by bigos this books will cover the whole electronics part and this is i think this book on electronics the simplest book in india fundamental principle of electronics it has been written in such a simple language that any physics aspirants can understand this very easily okay so we have covered almost we have covered all the sections of iid exam physics now you know that in general we could not upload contents related to iid exam physics on our channel but from now onwards we will regularly upload contents from iid exam uh, physics aspirants so those who have not subscribed our channel please subscribe the channel and don't forget to press the bell icon and finally thanks for watching